I suspect this is going to be a short video. Uh, I'm going to do... Are you in focus? I'm going to do the binding here. Now we've had... Excuse me, Georgie girl. We've got this binding here, which is three colors. It's got black, white, and cream. The cream is a very pale cream compared to the cream of the old guitar. You see the difference? It almost looks white. Can you see that? It almost looks white. Excuse me, girl. I have some stain in that. And I have a little tiny piece of binding in it, which I was going to show you later to see how I can make it a bit darker to match the... Get out of there. But it seems that Georgie Girl loves eating binding. So she's knocked over the tea and taken out the binding from the tea. Now, I don't expect the tea to work, but I don't expect the pussycat to eat it either. So let me come back to you. That pussycat drive you nuts. Anyway, the owner bought some binding, which is as brittle as hell, which is closer to the color, but is too thick. But now that I've bought other binding which is not the right color and is the right thickness I actually think I'm going to use the one that the owner sent with me even though it is brittle very brittle I think it probably made of the cellulose type of although it could be just cheap plastic but it could be made of the cellulose type material and if it is then that begs another question, what's the right type of glue for it? So I think I'm going to use the owner's glue, which is too thick. Sorry, I'm going to use the owner's binding, which is too thick. Uh, glue it down. And then scrape with the knife to bring it down to... Well, maybe I might not even scrape with the knife to bring it down. It actually looks okay, doesn't it? All right, okay, so, right, okay. So the, the stuff they sent me is not the right stuff. So what I'm doing now, I'm going to use the owner stuff, as I'm just getting my, my, my hand and cleaning off any glue that might be there. The difficulty with this one, why call it difficulty? That's where the binding ends and that's where the paint starts. So there's going to be a gap between there and there for paint. So, and it's going to be a gap because it's quite a thick blob of paint. So there's going to be a gap that way as well. So I'm going to have to use fillers and then I have to use a bit of tape and then try to get, this is multi, this is black here and it's green here. So it's going to be a mishmash. But as long as we get it done, that's the main thing. I don't think uh, we're going to win any prizes for this one. Okay. Okay, so what I'm doing is I put the PVA glue in there. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. But I'm going to dip it and use a toothpick to put it in the gaps. Now, the reason I'm doing that is because you could use a paintbrush, but by the time you've done one, the paintbrush will be solid. And in this way here, you can control this a little bit more and get this well and truly glued down. Uh, so I'll just carry on and do this. You can control the drips a little bit more too. I'm sure I'm putting too much blue tape on, but I don't. Do I care? Am I bothered? Am I bothered? No, I'm not bothered. I'd already prepped this and cut the edge of the other binding. 
which you can see is much thinner than the binding I'm putting on. But does it matter? Not a lot because this binding is going to be scraped down a bit. Right, so that. The good thing about CA glue is that I can then go on to work on, on something else and not be afraid of it uh, falling off again because it's fairly quick. But I will leave it 24 hours before I get stuck in. Now this, I haven't prepped this yet, so I need to prep it. So I'll get prep it, chop off the ends straight and come back to you when it's clean. All right, now this is much thinner binding than the back one. So I am going to use the off-coloured binding for this and I'm just going to put a piece in there of the off-coloured and then try to stain it. It's going to be slightly, it'll be slightly too thin but uh, if I can show you before the super glue dries up this has got black striping in it so it makes it a little bit more awkward. So what I'm going to do now is try to get this super glue in this and where's my taping? My tape. Right, okay, super glue. You can't see, can you? Where'd my blue tape? I put it away over there, right. And then I push that down and up with the blue tape. Feel it in below, make sure it's in the right place. And I think that's all I, I don't think you saw very much there. Maybe cut that bit out to make myself look better. But that's that and that. And maybe in a couple of hours, I'll come back and take the tape off and we'll have a reveal. I don't have any other binding to be done on this guitar. That's the only bits of binding that had to be done. Now I'm going to throw that glue out because it stinks. Shame waste such amount of glue. <laughs> right, okay. Well, I'll have to tidy up properly. All right, goodbye. Now I'm going to leave that one and the other one on the end on for a little while longer. It's only been a couple of hours since I put the best on. But just to give it a little bit more time to seal there. You can see it looks grand here, but it won't look grand there because we've got some work to do to fill in. Right. Uh, the top one. Hmm. And I do the, the yes as well. I prefer to leave the two end pieces on. Right, okay. You can see we have a little gap there, but I'm going to fill that in with black. Try to keep some sort of continuity. Okay, and, and that's it. Um, no point in me showing you me cleaning up. Might show you me filling and uh, painting, but we'll see. Just to bring you up to date on this, I had to redo that first piece again because I used the thinner stuff. How do I get the? Oh, there you are. I used the thinner stuff and it just didn't work out for me. Now the back stuff, you can see the, where are you? Right, you can see the join there and it goes right round. Let me just wait till this get in focus. You can see that there's paint Apparently missing. I got sent to my own uh, big out room. My TV. I don't know what happened. <laughs> Be quiet, you TV. I'm listening to a trial in the background. Sorry. I don't either because it just started putting... Right, okay. <laughs> right, sorry. Right, so uh, as I was saying, you can see that the there's some paint missing. Uh, this is also the thicker binding, so there's a thickness there. Uh, what I'm going to do, because that goes the whole way right round, I'm trying to keep this in focus for you. It goes the whole way right round to about, where is it? There. Okay. What I'm going to do, and if you look at the color, sorry, I just look at the color. It's black there and it's green there and I'm never going to be able to manage that. 
I don't have the facilities to do that. So what I'm going to suggest to the owner is that I tape off there, tape off the binding and spray black the whole way around and make it all black because I'm not going to be able to match up the green and I'm not going to be able to just put green in there uh, to match it either. So when I've done the when I've done the binding, that's correct. I'm going to fill all this gap in here. I'm going to spray it first, put tape on, spray it, and uh, <laughs> do I have to take that off? No, I think I can do that fairly easily. Although it was awkward to get on, but I think I can take that off and take off the tailpiece and spray that all black and the binding stay as it is. So that's the theory. And that's where we're going with it. All right. The binding seems to stay on quite well, although I am going to put a little another little bead of CA glue the whole way right round. All right, right, this is not an easy one to film and do at the same time, but if you look closely there, you'll see that I've first of all put black all around the edge to hide where the green is missing, and then I put a, a th fairly thick layer of super glue on there. Now the intention is for me now is to bring the, when that really dries hard, I'll bring the scraper or sander in to sand that down a bit. How much, I don't know yet, but my intention is to sand it down a bit. And then I'll bind, I'll, I'll tape off the binding and then spray the back all black. So that's the intention, okay? This and it's leveling off the binding, and so I'm going to do that with the rest of the guitar off camera because this it really is hard to hold it in the, in one direction and film at the same time with any sort of uh, usefulness to the viewer. Okay, it's still itty bitty. Let me just put something there to get the focus right. Itty bitty. So what I'm going to use now is 2,000 wet and dry, just to get this down. You can see the bindings on, but that's not finished yet. Now I'll use the buffer on it. I get it polished. It's not going to come up great. It's going to come up acceptable. If I was giving advice to anybody about doing binding, it would be to do the whole guitar if they can. But that's very difficult, and I'll show you why I say that. Hold on a second. Because it's almost impossible to get the binding the right color. And if you look at that there, I don't know you can see, it's burnt out in my camera lens, but the old binding when I grind, signed it down to the, it's whiter, then it's a creamer binding and then it's back to the, and there's not much way you can stain that. You just can't stain that because that's darker. If it was lighter, you might've been able to stain it something up. So it's, uh, I'll put some stain on it, but it's not gonna bring it up to perfect. Right, I'm just going to fill this in at the moment and I'm going to use my favourite, my new favourite, which is Yacht Varnish. It's, it, it, it's very easy to put on. You can put it on with a cloth. I'll just dip it in and show you. You can just put it on with a cloth like that and you just keep rubbing it. But what I'm planning to do is tape it off and paint it black. I see a red door and I want it painted black. That was our, <laughs> you can tell I wasn't the singer in the band, but that was the song we started off our gigs with. Anyway, okay, let that sit. Okay, since our last date, what has happened? Well, I've taped off the binding, as you can see on both sides, and I painted it black to the edges. So I'm going to see what 
now is left to do to make it more reasonable. And I see some scratching there that may need to be filled in and done again. I haven't had a close look at this myself, so you're looking at it with me. So uh, Georgia Girls is up beating the, the, the strings again because, because she can. Georgia goes that it, because it's black down there and because it was black in sections I painted it black you'll notice I painted over the uh, thing black I'll clean that out and I'll just leave it black there were cracks and scratches on it I see a little bit of dirt can't say I'm that happy with the binding but it was the only binding we could put on this is proving to be a long term effort I've got the binding on. The two colors were annoying me of the binding. So I just happened to find some gloss paint, which is somewhere sitting here, which is a better color. Hold on a second, right? Get in the focus anytime you want. Oh, is it upside down? No, it's upside down in my view. So that helped a bit. Now, because the body was all cracked and warped, and I didn't want to take the back off. I had, there's a difference between the heights, which I filled in with, and also the paint and was all chipped way back here. So I didn't, well, I couldn't have done that without taking all the binding off, and we didn't want to do that. So I have some sanding sealer in this, gloss sanding sealer. A little brush that I love. I can use the tip and then cut it back and cut it back and cut it back. So uh, sanding sealer. Just to maybe hopefully fill in a little couple of the cracks and stuff like that there and give a little bit of gloss to the uh, binding. Now I have two pieces of wood here. I don't know whether you can see them. Can you see them? Because if you if you ever have propped up a guitar, you'll know how quickly it'll fall from side to side. So I have two little pieces of wood on each side just clamped and I'm going to do this now. use that like that and then move the guitar into my special drying area which is called the back bedroom well every now and then a guitar gets onto your bench that you wish you could do better on this is one of those guitars it leaves me slightly depressed because every time I look at it there's more that I see could be done to it to make it look better than it could be. And that's only because I like it so much. I like the guitar a lot, but I wouldn't have it because it has far too much wrong with it. Nothing major wrong with it, but I know it's a 1970 guitar, so it should look like this, but I would like it to look better. And if I was if and if it was a guitar that was worth a pile of money, I would tell the chappy to invest in it, strip it, take all the stuff off, blah blah blah. But I, it's not. I don't even know what model it is. It's an Aria something. It's been on my bench for so long now, on and off and on and off and on and off because it took a lot of work to get it into any sort of shape. But I did the binding. And you'll probably see from the binding videos what it was like. It's, don't look at it too closely. That's the kind of thing. Don't look at it too closely. It's acceptable. The further away from you are, you are, the better it is. But the closer you are, the worse or worse or worse it is. But it's okay. I think I've said before, and I'm not going to repeat myself too much, but the best thing to do would be take that binding off, respray the whole guitar, and it's not worth it because you might be lucky to get 250 for this guitar, even though it's a 1970. You might be lucky to get 250. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to speed this up now and get the strings on it and then play a little demo and send it back to Mommy and Daddy. I think maybe more daddy than mommy but I'm gonna do that now and stop talking because I want to get this done all right
Did you want to climb up on my back? Did you? Did you want to climb up on my back or are you going somewhere? You just want attention. You just want attention, don't you? Don't you? You just want attention. settle come back later I'll intonate it action looks pretty good and uh, get it tuned up and give you a little play all right ciao well she's going home she's going home back to her daddy It's a Dwayne Eddy type, Dwayne Eddy type guitar. I could do with some reverb and all that sort of thing, but there she is. Intonation's fine, everything's working. Oh, put in the switch. I think it had everything done to it from rewiring to bridge plates to every single thing, new tuners on it and everything, new tuning pegs, neck, everything. But it's going home. It's going home to wherever it's going home to. Say bye bye to it. Ciao, 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 bambini.